Dear, dear Barry and dear Matt, I'm Matt. This tutorial is primarily for the two of us um, because although we have impeccably good memories, uh, we do also occasionally, being human, forget minor details about past events. Therefore, in the future, if we need this, here are some details that might be useful. The date currently is the 2nd of January 2017. We recently installed Ubuntu 16.10 alongside Windows 10. We had a few hiccups in trying to do this, but we managed to get everything done nicely until Ubuntu suddenly did not want to um, properly install software with the software update manager. It spoke about broken packages. So we have decided to reinstall Ubuntu and I have thus far deleted Ubuntu off the system and I'm now going to go through the process of putting a new copy of Ubuntu onto the computer hoping that this will solve our problem. Um, usually we don't install updates or restricted extras in the uh, process of installing Ubuntu because it seems to take a lot longer doing that. We wonder if maybe we should actually do it with the process of the installation. Um, that said, here goes! This is the screen that many people will know um, where you actually have to start the process with installing Ubuntu. And what you have to do is you have to shrink a part of the volume of your hard drive to make space for Ubuntu. Then you can create either two mounting points or three depending on your computer. The two mounting points you have to create is a mounting point that basically has a forward slash. The second mounting point has forward slash and home. The third mounting point is your swap mounting point. Okay, now your swap doesn't need to be created depending on how fast your computer is, so the memory, and how new your computer is. Currently, this computer has got eight gigabytes of RAM. So I have read and seen from many sources that we technically don't need to create a swap partition. But a swap partition is nice because a swap partition um, basically will give you extra memory when your physical memory starts to run out. So your swap is basically virtual RAM. It's software RAM. And the more you give your computer, the more you have available to use. So it's your choice how much you want to use, if you want to use any at all. Okay, so where on this computer it says free space, hopefully you can see the cursor over here. There is 314.6 gigabytes of space that we're going to allocate to these three um, mounting points that we're going to create, okay? And the nice thing about Ubuntu is even if you're doing these things manually, uh, you can still see the default, the best options that are available for what you want to do. So, number one, the forward slash mounting point. You go to underneath the main area where you can see what's on your computer to where there's a plus and a minus. You click. When you've selected free space, you must select that first, very important, plus. Then a screen will come up and it will give you the default settings that are the best for you to use. Now, make sure that you allocate the amount of space that you specifically want for the three different mounting points. We have chosen to allocate 300, 300, 1000, that would be 
300 gigabytes of space for our first mounting point. And what you need to check is to see that it says for the new petition that primary is selected. It will be selected. Then see if it's selected this thing that says beginning of this space. And it will be selected. Don't worry, Ubuntu is awesome. Then check and see that it says use as extension for journaling file system and it will probably be selected so you don't have to do much on this little screen and then when it says mount point choose forward slash that's the big thing that you need to do then you say okay and wait for a moment none of this will actually truly uh, be finalized until you click the install now button that is an important point that needs to be said it needs to be reiterated it needs to be believed now you have used 300 gigabytes of that free space so you've got over here you can see 14.6 gigabytes left what we have chosen to do is we find that free space not any free space, that particular free space that says that, which is over here. And again, we push the plus sign. Boop. And then we select for our forward slash home mounting point, 10,000 megabytes, which is 10 gigabytes. So 10 and then 1,000. 1, 2, 3, 10 gigabytes. And what we say then is primary, beginning of this space, and extension 4, just as it was before. But this time your mount point won't be forward slash, it will be forward slash home. Select that and say OK. And then wait for a moment while it does that. <laughs> you can see that you have to wait because obviously there's a little indication, a little symbol that is showing you that work is in the process of being done. And please do not disturb that work by clicking anything on the computer. Anyway, work is no longer being done by the computer. So now we can do the last thing, which as I said before, is to create the swap space that may not be necessary depending on the age and the speed of the computer. Swap space. We're going to go back to that free space and there's only going to be 4.6 gigabytes left. Here it says 4,500, but it changes slightly uh, in the top. It will probably say 4.6 if we scroll along over here. 4.6, that's right. And now we're going to make this space our swap space. And we do exactly as we did before. We click plus while selecting that free space. And we don't need to t uh, punch any numbers into this area anymore because we want to use all of it. And that's what they give you, all of it. And again, you say primary, beginning of this space. But now, instead of extension 4, you click the drop-down box there and you find where it says swap area. Oh, there it is. Select that, say OK, and we're basically finished. But not exactly, just close. This is when you can start breathing more easily, your heart will slow down, and you'll feel a oneness with the universe, to quote a cliche. As you can see, the computer is still busy, and I'm still talking to keep you interested. Matt and Barry. That's my father and myself. Except I'm Matt and he's Barry. So I should have said the names the other way around for politeness sake. Now, everything looks like it's been done correctly. Extension 4, 300 gigabytes. Extension 4, 10 gigabytes. Swap, 10 gig uh, 4.6 gigabytes that is. And... At this stage, we just need to go down to the bottom right corner where it says install now and click that beautiful little button 
and uh, the procedure should basically take care of itself. It does say the file system blah 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 has been marked for formatting. Directories containing blah 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 already exist under this mount point and they will be deleted during the install. Please ensure that you have backed up anything critical. Blah blah blah. Thanks Ubuntu, you're amazing for giving us that information. Don't worry, we're cool. Continue. And then it says these are the changes that you're going to be making. So if you continue, um, everything that we've done will now take, uh, it will go into effect that is. So we just need to check it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, continue. And we're going to see if this solves the problem that we had previously. And at that point, everything else should be fairly obvious to set. So we're not going to record all of that. We're rather just going to at this point say bye bye. And Matt and Barry, that's myself and my father, as though we don't already know, uh, have a good day, whatever you might be doing. Ta ta!